Oh, hell no. going on everyone mystic for mystical tomes here and today we're going to be doing another reaction of scary compilation of scary compilation 76 from a well-known youtuber called brzebub you might have seen my last couple videos on the reactions on this i've gotten some really good feedback and a lot of good freaking commentary from everybody and i appreciate the positive and also constructive criticism for you guys if you're new to this channel i'm mystic for mystical tomes and this is what I do. I do reactions and play scary video games for you guys. So, without further ado, if you guys enjoyed my commentary, please consider hitting the like, subscribe, and bell notification in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. And without further ado, let's get started. On April 16 of 2023, at around 12 a.m., a man named Jacob wakes up to a strange noise outside his room. Trembling with fear, he gets out of bed and encounters something that leaves him extremely unnerved. Now, not too long ago, I featured a video from Jacob, who you may remember as the man who inherited an old house and a creepy clown doll that both belonged to his grandmother. The clown doll, known as Jeffrey, scares him. I'm, I'm not going to talk too much between the videos. I hate clowns. I will never get a to toy clown or a doll clown like this. I don't know why people do it. It just creeps me out. Because of this, he keeps Jeffrey locked mm. up in a separate room away from him. But then one night... Something happens that spooks Jacob out of his mind. It's close to midnight when a loud bang wakes him up. He hears a couple more noises before suddenly realizing that the sounds are coming from the room next to his where the clown doll was put. What happens next scares the living daylights out of him. Take a look. No. Where's your 12 gauge? I swear to God, if that door opens. Bro. Don't you dare look at the guy. I think not. No. Oh, hell no. Jacob checks the room where the sounds were coming from. Mm -mm. A loud noise is heard from downstairs. He looks nervously down the staircase when suddenly the sound of footsteps going up the stairs is heard. Yet, as he looks closely, no one appears to be there. He then quickly turns around to see the door opening slowly, showing Jeffrey, whose head is now in a different position, initially seen facing the wall. The clown is now staring at the door. Jacob quickly ends the video here and locks himself in his room until the following morning. After this night, he was absolutely certain that Jeffrey was haunted. Afraid it might happen again or something worse may occur, he decides to move Jeffrey into the basement. Smart move. Um, another update. You know, I think I, I'm definitely going to be moving Jeffrey. Like, with whatever happened last night, I don't want him near me. Um, I'm going to be putting him in the basement. So, 
a follow up. It's a good this call. Is the results so far. I'm gonna leave them here for now. But I think I'm gonna put a camera here. Jeffrey's still here, so we're gonna see if there's anything I miss. Now, unlike before, Jacob will keep an eye on Jeffrey by placing a security camera in front of him. If anything happens, he'll be notified immediately via a notification sent by the camera. Fast forward to a few nights later, and he's notified of movement inside the basement. He checks the camera's live feed and sees that the camera is moving side to side. Oh, hell no, dude. Now, this didn't alarm him, as he forgot that the heater on which the camera was placed on top okay. has a timer that turns it on and makes that it oscillate. Yeah, that makes the sense. The had simply turned on during this time. But as he continues to watch, something happens that terrifies him to his core. Watch. I swear to God, if that damn thing moves again. Well, that's not good. Are you freaking kidding me? First, you see the limp doll's arm falls onto this freaking side over there, and then on top of that, you hear like a kind of voice. No, no one's gonna ask questions about this. No one's gonna, no one's gonna dive deeper into this. I mean, I'm not because I have common sense. But as the camera oscillates from side to side, the clown's arm eerily moves on its own. That made me jump. Seconds later, the light bulb blows out in a loud explosion, making the basement completely dark. Following that, a strange voice is heard whispering something that's hard to make out. Not much else happens after this, but everything that happened before was enough for Jacob to decide that Jeffrey should remain locked up in the basement. Jeffrey continues to be recorded in case he moves again. For now, no further updates have been posted by Jacob, but until then, this video remains a mystery. All I gotta say is about this video real quick, okay? We have Charlie the Doll, or whatever the freaking thing's name is, and you start hearing banging and smacking and freaking demonic freaking like pausing dramatically freaking one two three steps going up there and then as soon as the guy hears another knock he turns around and the goddamn doll is still like looking at him like what are you doing there george don't mind me it's like no dude i don't want to know what you're doing i want you in the damn basement but apparently you can't keep yourself freaking too unpreoccupied now when i'm watching what you're doing like i have to freaking chaperone your damn demonic looking ass now on top of everything else it's a freaking problem. So yeah, I hope this guy gets rid of this freaking demonic doll. One, it's a clown. I hate clowns. That's that's just that. And two, it's a doll clown. So that's just top two tier right there that I hate the most. And now we're going to have to deal with it's a demonically possessed clown doll that now is just infesting the freaking whole entire freaking house. And this guy goes, oh, whatever it was last night. Like, what do you mean, whatever it was last night? It's not whatever it was last night. It was like, it was scarier than freaking all the Annabelle movies and all the freaking Insidious movies and all the freaking uh, The Conjuring movies combined. I'm sitting on the edge of my seat. I literally had my hair on the back of my neck, arms, head, everything standing on end. And I'm like, doing one of those things because it's just like I wasn't inspecting it. I'm like, oh, it's a doll. I've seen the video of this where the doll turns its head. But now, you're nowhere near the doll. Now, could it be fake? Yes, it could be easily faked. You have a timed freaking heater that goes from one point to the other point, And then on top of that, you have a door where you can't see in, on the other side of it. So someone could have possibly turned the doll's head. Very easily. But I'm not saying this is fake, and I'm not saying it's real. But that convinced me it is real, in my opinion. 
Just my opinion. You guys let me know what could possibly be faked or if it's been debunked. And let me know in the comment section down below because this was a creepy vid. I'm not going to lie. It was. It's right up there in the top five. This next video comes from a man whose entire home is filled with Bibles and other religious artifacts that he worships on the daily. If he's not praying, then he's most likely sitting at his piano playing a song with verses from the Bible. Pretty much everything he has or does in this apartment is based on something religious. Now you might be thinking that this man is simply devoted to his religion. While that's partly true, the main reason as to why he prays a lot has to do with something completely different. As it turns out, this man has been experiencing strange happenings in his home. Uh, yep. Ever since visiting his father's gravesite at the cemetery, he can't shake the feeling that something has followed him home. Whatever it might be, he's deeply afraid of it. For this reason, he's been praying and singing religious songs more so than usual as an attempt to get rid of the evil entity that now lives in his home. One day, while taking a nap, he wakes up to a loud noise in the living room. He grabs his phone and records this. Bueno, estoy grabando este video porque estoy tratando de dormir, pero acabo de escuchar un golpe duro por allá en la sala, entonces decidí grabar porque así It's crazy. Se viene presentando cosas extrañas en el apartamento, son los cuatro. That's a problem. Feeling slightly unnerved, the man sees a set of eating utensils swing side to side as though a strong breeze had passed by. But as the man points out, all windows are closed shut. Naturally, he was stricken with fear, but not as much as the next incident, as what happens then leaves him terribly shaken up. Oh, man. A few days after this occurrence, the man uploads a video in which he appears to be deeply distressed. Watch. That right there, what that man is experiencing is the fight or flight response. He wants to stay and hold his ground, and his body is basically telling him to get the hell out of that house. And he's being very stubborn about it, but he's also trying to uh, basically um, have a, showing a sign of dominance and basically saying, this is my house, you are just a guest here. And sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. This is just terrifying because I've been through this myself at least once or twice. I'm, I'm not a paranormal investigator by any means. I've just been, my folks lived in a haunted house. I've lived in several haunted houses and I've had to do the same thing. Like they could just be standing on the freaking foot of the, like the, the foot uh, hold of the bed. And uh, they could be either staring at you or you could feel like a very, very strong presence just be sitting there. So it, it's, it's pretty scary. I'm not lying. I'm not going to lie. It's a very scary feeling. Yeah, that thing's messing with him. You guys don't believe in doors where you're from? I'm not I'm not insulting, I'm just asking. Curtains would not be doing it for me. Mm. No ma'am. No sir. No thank you. I'm expecting a jump scare. Jesus, te 
el nombre de, de Jesús ordeno que te vayas. No, sir. No tienes derecho de estar aquí. Ordeno que te vas. You can tell this guy's scared. I would be scared too. That's my cue to leave. That's my cue to leave. I would have said done the same exact thing. Yeah, that, that ghost is like, and you're done. Evicted. Yeah, no, dude. Screw that. Hard, hard note on that. Appearing to be fed up with the supposed spirit, the man tells the spirit to leave at once. But after having done so, a piano key is seemingly pressed by an unseen force. That's a hell of a find, though. Out of the room in a panic frenzy. It was now clear to him that something was provoking him. But as if that wasn't obvious enough, oh, it's going to get worse. Later, this happens. It's three in the morning when the man and his girlfriend, who was staying the night, wake up to strange noises. What happens next leaves them highly unsettled. Take a look. Kudos to the girlfriend, dude. That is a that is a ballsy woman right there. Kudos to her. Mm -mm. Nope, I'll, I'll be going. You are out of your mind, sir. I'm sorry, was there a shadow figure right there? Sir, why would you go in the kitchen? Manifiestate en el nombre de Jesús. Te ordeno que te manifiestes. the anticipation for me, dude.
tomorrow. Strangely, the wind chimes move on their own, and the kitchen appears to be ransacked. Yet according to the man, no signs of forced entry were seen anywhere in the house. Further adding to the strangeness, the man says that his girlfriend felt very ill only minutes after this incident. Whether or not this had something to do with her sudden illness is unknown. But considering what happened only days later, the man can't help but think that the spirit was responsible for this. It's late at night, and the man is once again woken up by mysterious noises when this is captured. I love my job here. I'm waiting for it to happen. Dude, you're moving too erratically. What are you doing? Mm-mm. That's big. Jesus Christ. I am so lucky I freaking paused that. Without warning. The sound of footsteps charging at full throttle can be heard heading towards the man. Those were big footsteps too. By an unseen presence, scared stiff, the man stands in silence while trying to process what just happened. He then picks up his phone and ends the video here. Although undoubtedly strange, viewers find it stranger that the man doesn't turn on the lights in most of these incidents. Thank you. But the reason for this, according to him, is that the lights for most of the rooms are located at the main entrance, which he stays away from as he's too scared to approach. Okay, that makes Whether sense. Whether ghost or not, the man continues to pray and read passages from the Bible in the hopes that doing so would get rid of the strange presence that haunts him. All I gotta say is I... What people just freaking said they're curious to why he doesn't turn the lights on, that was my first freaking question. I'm like, why are you not turning the lights on? Why don't you have a second way of turning on the freaking, you know, two-way hall lights? But I guess that's just how those things are built like that. That's just insane to me. Why all the light or majority of the light fixture controllers, flip, flip, flip switches, whatever you want to call them, are at the freaking doorway, the entryway of the apartment. That's crazy. Uh, it was the anticipation for me on that. I'm not going to lie. I was just sitting there going, let's go. I'm waiting for a jump scare. I'm waiting for it. I'm just waiting for it. Let's go. And then it was just, as soon as you heard the um, heavy footsteps, those were big. And whatever was in that house was big. And we both know about that because just the freaking sheer impact of those freaking footsteps, you can tell that thing was probably... If it was a real life person, it would probably be almost bigger than a, a guy who is like a lineman. So probably a guy that's the size for a professional basketball playing and the same weight or heavier as a lineman stomping his feet up and down the hallway. That's crazy. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section down below. This video so far has been absolute freaking madness. And I just got to say, it, it's just it's just madness. It's just what it is. It's probably one of the better videos I've seen this week, so... In early January of 2023, a woman named Nancy Malkin had a very strange encounter with something in her child's bedroom. Oh, God, no. Nancy says that the reason she had went up to her son's bedroom in the first place was because she saw something quite unusual on the security camera that's placed in this room. She had woken up from a nap before looking over at the camera's live feed and seeing a strange orb flying around her son's toys. It's very odd. It would seem to zip around in a strange way and react to objects it touched as though it had a mind of its own. Now, Nancy had been looking at this orb for quite some time. More than five minutes have passed since initially spotting the mysterious orb, and still, it continued to float around in the same spot. 
Now curious as to what exactly was being caught on camera, she walks over to her son's room, but strangely finds nothing there. Nothing visible could be seen with her naked eye, but on camera, she could still see the ball of light floating around the same spot. In this short clip, Nancy's observing the orb via the security camera's live feed on her phone. Mind you, that without the phone, she can't see anything in person. While looking at the live feed, she sees the ball of light moving frenetically. Watch. That is crazy footage where she's in the same room as it. That's insane. Now at one point, Nancy starts to communicate with the orb. She tells it to touch her hand when something pretty interesting happens. The orb quickly moves away from her hand as though she had scared it. Nancy decides to leave this mysterious orb alone and call it a day. The orb continues to fly around the same spot even after she goes. But only minutes later, after rechecking the camera, the orb is no longer there. It has simply vanished. That is freaking fascinating. Ever since recording this, the orb hasn't shown itself again. Nancy believes that this mysterious orb might have been the spirit of a child as it kept floating around her son's toys. Perhaps it just wanted to play with them, as Nancy states. But whatever it might have been, she claims that this mysterious orb was intelligent as it responded to everything she did. To this day, she still questions what this ball of light was doing inside her son's bedroom. If you, I'm going to say this. That is very freaking fascinating. Now, there could be a billion things what that orb could have been. A billion things. But we're not going to sit here and talk about that. We're going to sit here and just talk just straight tax. <sighs> Could it be the spirit of a lost child? Yes. Could it be something more? Yes. What we know, it could be limitless op possibilities and options of what it could be. But I'm really hoping that the kid just wanted to play with the toys and interact with somebody and then moved on. That's what I'm hoping for. That's what uh, that happy ending uh, for the video is on that. You guys let me know what you think in the comment section down below because honestly... I'm really hoping that's the spirit of a child, you know, it just was lost, didn't know what to do, found a couple toys, felt safe, the woman came and con uh, communicated with it, and it's like, oh, okay, cool, uh, I'm not in a dangerous a area, and uh, I can finally cross over because I got someone to talk to and hold at my hand or whatever. That's me being optimistic. If it was something more dark or sinister, it wouldn't have just simply gone away. Let me know. If you caught something creepy on camera, or if there's any ghost videos you'd like me to check out and include in the next compilation, you can send them over to scaryvideos444 at gmail.com. That being said, let's get back to the video. There's an apartment in Poland where something very strange has been going on. The man who lives there claims that whenever he's by himself, he can't help but feel as though someone else is inside. Yep. When his roommates are gone, and he has the place to himself, weird noises happen out of nowhere. Now what makes these occurrences extra strange is that they always seem to happen during the nighttime. Knowing when they usually occur, the man has his phone ready in hand and proceeds to record the following video. No one else is home when this is captured. Hey, ogólnie, to tak jakoś czasu, cały czas... Oh, I'm sorry, what? Cały czas coś... I would have not thought that would have been a, a paranormal thing. I thought someone would have broken the house. No. Is that shower? Is that a shower going on right now?
Oh, dude. I, I think not. I, I think not. No. I would have automatically assumed that was someone breaking in when he woke up. No. Mysteriously, the bathroom faucet is left running as though someone or something had turned it on. The man shuts it off while seeming confused as to how it turned on by itself. He heads back to his room when eerily, the light switch, which he just turned on, is immediately turned off. It seems that whoever, or whatever was on the other end of the hall, had switched off the light. Now this wouldn't be the end of it, as only a few nights later, something just as creepy happens. It's nighttime, when the man recording hears banging noises outside his door. With his heart pounding in his ears, he records this. That's what I would have said. No. It's good. Clear the room. I didn't even see what happened. Peering into the darkness of the hallway to see if anyone's there. Finding nobody inside the bathroom, the man quickly walks back to his room, but stops in his tracks upon noticing the sudden mess in the kitchen. Oh, jeez, I didn't even see that. That is crazy. He literally just saw it for like 10 to 20 seconds, shut everything off, went back in there, and didn't even hear a single thing in the background. Uh, I'm hard hearing, so if you guys heard any like stuff going on in the background outside that room, Please let me know in the comment section down below, but that is crazy. A massive earthquake had struck the place. The man runs back into his room in full terror before ending the video. What happened that night has left them shaken up. It's unknown if the man continues to live inside the apartment, as no updates or new videos have been posted. But as with most videos, I'll let you come up with your own conclusions. Is something living inside this man's apartment? Or... Might there be an explanation for all that's happened? So if anyone wants to think that this thing is pranked, that would be a very, very, very elaborate prank where people would have to be in sync with one another to a, such a degree, a wide or regular frame lens on a camera, however wide the frame is. Uh, and on top of that, you guys would have to do this so in tune that it would be damn near impossible for anyone to basically avoid detection unless he just stopped right there waited right in that spot and then hit the record button again and went down to the freaking millisecond or two milliseconds and cropped it out now i'm not saying that's fake i honestly think that's real because the way the guy's reaction was it seemed legit you guys let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below because that's something that's really hard to freaking fake on that caliber so, I wouldn't be living there. After the first night, I'd be like, deuces, and I'd be out of there. That's just my opinion, though. In this next video, two friends are hosting a live stream when something pretty spooky is captured live. Now, the two boys in this video often do live streams while playing video games late at night. It just so happens that this particular incident took place during an all-nighter, where around 5 in the morning, a strange noise is heard in the kitchen. The two usually play in the living room, so the noise was close by when it happened. The boys thought it was a family member who was grabbing a morning snack, so they shrugged it off and didn't think much of it. But later on, something happens that grabs their full attention and prompts them to end the live stream immediately. While playing in the dark, this happens. Okay, that's the video game. <laughs> it 
Is that a door? I'm gonna laugh if that door closes. I'm really gonna laugh. Oh, hell the hell no. They were not even near that chair. At first, the fridge door seemingly opens on its oh, own. Oh, it's the fridge, okay. Someone had gone over to grab a snack. At least that's what the two boys thought, considering that one of them has a brother who wakes up around this time to cook something up. Thinking that he left the fridge door open by accident, one of them gets up to close it. But as they walk back, this happens. A chair swiftly moves on its own by more than a few inches, causing both friends to freeze in their tracks. It was at this point that they both knew that something unexplainable had occurred. Some those that those two boys right there, those guys gave honest reactions to that. What are you going to do when you see a chair, probably about 40 pounds worth, just slides a good two or three feet? No one's there. You can't explain it. It's in the middle of the night or in the early hours of the morning, and all of a sudden, bam, it happens. You just kind of freeze there because your brain can't process that just happened. And a lot of people that are skeptics, they sit there and go, oh, I wouldn't have acted like that. Please, you would have acted like that. But yeah, those that's an honest reaction. Something supernatural. Viewers believe so too, but as always, I'll let you be the judge on that. Had something paranormal occurred, or had something else happened here? Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. Until next time. All right, guys, that's the end of the scary compilation. Volume 76 from Beelzebub. If you guys enjoyed my commentary, my feedback, my reaction, my intake, output, whatever you want to freaking say on these kind of videos, I'm just giving my honest opinion and I'm just saying, hey, this is what I honestly think about this. And any reaction I do is actually genuine because I'm like, no, dude, absolutely not. And if I talk too much, I do apologize. I talk when I get nervous or a little antsy on these kind of things because you can't fight what you can't see. But anyway, if you guys enjoyed my reaction... Please consider hitting the like, subscribe, and bell notification in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. And also, completely optional, consider joining my channel where we can actually reach this channel's maximum potential and actually have more, a couple more tiers that I have. I have one tier on there, but I'm, I'm trying to go the cheapest route because, you know what, it's optional. I'm not going to make it, like, freaking break anyone's bank. If you want to join, join. You don't You don't have to. It's completely optional. I want you guys to be just more closer involved with me. Give me more serious feedback. Uh, the, I'm working on a lot of things on this channel, so I do apologize for the late delays on the videos and everything. So just bear with me. And I do appreciate you guys' patience. But anyway, enough of all that. I'm Mystic from Mystical Tomes, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. <laughs> Da 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 da